Well, everybody, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Last episode, I showed off the terraforming. We started working on the ramp, and we started looking at getting our tier two housing up. And we're going to start really hammering out the design. We got the um, corners correct so we could kind of line up our farms. And I swear to God, I told this thing I would determine where. Oh, I see. So when I move the comp. Post yard, it reset. All right, we want this off. Ah, we want to determine where compost is being set so it doesn't uh, throw it into like our crap field over here. We're gonna have to move each of these graveyards um, because the farms will be going along these plots here. But this is awesome that we know exactly where all of our fencing is gonna be. And the indus industry area is gonna be over here and it's all of its glory. All right, so we moved chickens over here and we're gonna put the uh, water bonus right there just for the time being. All right, so I do feel that it is time to kind of start moving things out to where they're gonna be. Now it's important to note that this actually needs to be flat-ish, but we're gonna have to put the walls down first in order to lock this terraforming. Uh, it gets a little weird if you don't. All right, we have to get that ramp down too. But let's try to get uh, some of this stuff up. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. A lot of the industry is gonna go over here, um, and then we're gonna build our residential out over this way. Most likely, I'll have to move that forester potentially. Potentially, actually, let's look at this. I mean, everything is subject to change based on the ma the map you're playing. So this is the gateway. So the fence would have to come out here. So if I were able to move this, but you see, we lose a lot of the good area, which is right here. It really sucks. But if I were able to move this, <laughs> this doesn't work for me. Um. Hmm. So in the design, like I could do a corner or something. Ooh, look at this. The 60 over here. So let's let's uh count our blessings. Over here we have massive area of fertility. Look at this, 61%, 62, 65, 66, 65% right here. With multiple deer spawns and a wolf three deer spawns and a wolf den. That is a prime candidate, uh a prime prime candidate so let me think about the best way to go about this we do have five months worth of food and we do have three hunters that i could pull on as a makeshift army oh my gosh going blind all right here we go got three three farmers who are definitely willing to sacrifice themselves for my glory. Now we gotta go kill, ooh, we got a fourth farm. All right, we got four hunters. Do this. All right, need to pause and then need to fight the wolves. Okay, wolf. All right, cool. We killed all the wolves so we can get rid of this wolf den. Nice, we got a big old thing of gold here. Only 1,500. Cool. This area is now free of the wolves. It means that we can send our forester over here. We can get an insane, the best fertility that I've actually seen. This is actually a godsend. 65%. So that's going to that's gonna bring in more than we need. And we'll have all of our industry back here. Uh, so it's going to be set up pretty decent. So with that said... Let's actually just start doing it. Put the saw pit over here. We will move all of this stuff eventually again. Um, and all, all of our, our meats back here, so this is actually pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so this, this road is correct. Connect these roads. Undo all of this. The wagon can go anywhere, really. And we'll definitely reorganize this stuff at a later point. But for the time being, we're just going to slide it over here. And this can go outside the walls for now. They don't really, the raiders don't really steal too much out of stockyards. 
Fletcher can go here because he doesn't have any kind of uh, bad thing going on. Using the big words today. Sorry about that. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. All right, just a little bit. Yeah, we need to, to work on the trade items. It would be nice to get some money coming in. We're, we're pretty broke. And now that we're not terraforming, we can actually afford, um, afford to do a lot of things we couldn't before. I I have five gold per, per turn, which means, Jesus Louise, what is going on? There's like a... The wagon's just chilling here. That's so... Oh, it's because I'm moving it. I was like... That's so weird. Okay. Cool. So we got that fencing area done. Like, we just need to do... Okay. This is where things get a little weird, as, as I kind of said in the last video. That we have this stuff here, but it needs to be flat. And this needs to be more like that. Perfection. Alright, we'll sell the jackets for 100 shekels. Beautiful. What I want to do is get a tower up here. We do have enough money for it, so we'll do it. We get this tower up here, though, and it will defend everything at plus 18, and it will also defend this tower if anyone's trying to bust in. Beautiful. And this is where another chicken coop is eventually going to go. How I want to do this, I don't know. Um, it's it's going to have a problem in the off season, so I guess I'll just do it. Be nice to get the chicken coop there, so we'll do it. More food is always good. And I guess we could technically just put another house down here so we don't lose that person. I'll put him right next to firewood splitter, right next to the storage. Okay, this actually might work. Almost. What a crock of shit. Alright. Chickens are doing pretty decent. Need to get more wood. I kind of screwed up there. Um, there's an impressive amount of wood to be cut out this whole area. Hmm. Okay. Let's get the sire. Undo the tanner. Uh, one person on the Fletcher. Um, no more shoes. We need to get everybody and anybody out in the fields. We need another. We need another good wave of immigrants to come. Um, all right, but we got to be really smart because our food situation isn't the best. Cool as these trees, I can come and cut them later. Yeah, let's prioritize getting that out there. I might even buy, if I have an option to, I might even buy wood. Now it sounds kind of silly, but uh, sometimes it's better just to get the ball rolling. Three, okay. Looks like we're, we're getting some wood. I'm just gonna buy like 141 wood uh, so that we can keep our, our progress going. That will help us out a lot. That will help us get the walls up. Because I, I need to get these walls up so that I can get uh, get these guys dialed in correctly. Right there. I'm pretty sure that's going to do it. Terraform that up. Cool. We got him done. Got... Oh my lord. Okay. That guy will get done soon. This guy's done. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. We got our industry area. Um, we're gonna move the tannery over here. 
industry zone. Pick up. Where do I want to put the pick up it right here for now? And he's going to stay right where he, well, kind of right where he is. He's going to go. Eh, he can stay there for now. All right, cool. We're getting away with two workers on that one too, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's put a bunch of builders up. That we we just need to get everything moved. We're, we're kind of stalling because nobody's moving. We're definitely in a, a worker glut right now. I need to get this one. There's tons of trees for them to cut over there, so that's beautiful. Um, we definitely want to get our road systems a little bit out. Get the road going this way. We can delete this road at a later point. But, uh, I get it going right to the Forester. Make it faster, because that is a bit of a trek, and because it is a bit of a trek out here, uh, it it would be a good idea to get a temp shelter so that they have food readily available. Especially the hunters, too. They might actually increase that food in a well. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful place for a well. Bonus. I'll do it right there. Cool. Shelter done. We can delete this crazy road. These roads. All these roads go. Beautiful. Nice. Alright. The only thing that you do here is I mean, one, we're going to have one zero out of zero. Just going to be clovers. Yes, I'll take them. It's going to be clovers, and then we put down a chicken coop. And chicken coops are really good, even late game. For my data, they actually bring in more food than uh, cows, but cows make cheese, and cheese is arguably easier to make than smoked meat. Like, uh, if you make a cheese maker, it's, it's a lot more viable than smokers. But, uh, with that said, I should, I should wait until this is flat, actually. It's really good early game. And most likely we'll be able to apply quite a bit. Okay. Don't like this road. Really janky. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. We have our roads situated now. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Most? Alright. Imp shelter is up. Great. Eventually that will be back up. We need to prioritize this. If the illnesses are really hurting. We need to probably need to upgrade this market so we can get a healer hut up. Yeah, we'll keep getting the clovers going. The graveyard's almost full again. Shit. All right, we got 17 people. Um, auto fill. Get everyone back to work. I'm gonna boot the shoemaker up to two people because I think that's a, a viable economy for us right now. And. Make sure there's two firewood splitters. Make sure our quote is on. Fletcher has two people. Definitely good. The tannery is about to go back up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're doing alright. Okay, one more. That should do it. My motto. <gasps> one more. Just one more. Okay. I thought I put... 
Oh yeah, that's right. We're we're forming this area down. Mm, getting a lot of sick people. Cool, we got the tower up though. I'm definitely gonna put two people in here. This tower, oh, it's doing plus 15. I thought I'd get plus 18 on it. It's good enough though, man. Good enough. It doesn't look like they can reach this spot, so. Um, I think actually, we do this. We're gonna have to kind of do a weird thing here. Everybody else is great. Perfect. Oh, so close. So close. Where the wall goes, so... This will all need to be flattened. That actually might fix it right there. See? Alright, we got this guy getting plus 18 on a lot of areas. And then we got this guy up here. So that's gonna be pretty powerful. And then this needs to be brought back up. Infinite iron will definitely still be usable. We'll figure that one out. Probably won't go for the infinite iron though, because we have so much iron everywhere. This infinite stone will definitely be used. It'll be very vital. There we go. This up. And out of 10, eh? We definitely need more workers. Uh, but that is going to require it. Yeah, if we don't get a healer's hut up soon, I actually am a little afraid. What might happen? You can see that the direction things are going in. Not good. Crap. Needs to be brought over one. Alright. Yeah, let's get a couple of houses up. Well, eventually we're going to get the second marketplace up here pretty soon. I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, beautiful. That's good enough. <laughs> Gonna have to do. Crap, I have a well over here. Crazy. Over there. Might as well mine this. Fertilization. Good farm right there. This area will be great for the residential area because it will have water. Good amount of water in it. Right, we definitely have to get the wall, wall up there though. I think we should finish this too. Make it a little bit more defensible. Flatten that, get these sections kind of done. There we go. And sharp. And at a nine, very good. Yeah, I think food is pretty decent. I'm gonna sell these shoes even though it's not a lot of money. Desperate. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Hmm. I'm getting a little uh, annoyed here. 
do that, even though I know this is not going to be great. I really actually want to fix this, I'm sorry. If I screw it up, I do. It's just, it's really bu bugging me how lumpy it looks. This one's okay. Got two more houses. We actually have quite a bit of a population, so I think it needs to be more houses. Alright, so in the design, we have park, 5x5 five five park over here, but below that park, which is right here, we have a f another market. Ah, the festival pole goes right here. So we need to get this. All done. Yeah, I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna get the. I think we need to get the festival pull up next. But that's a lot of money. Money is not something. Yeah. This terraformed. Go. And the wall pieces should hold the terraforming. Should hold it in place. But we actually may be screwed. I might have to, Oh gosh, I might have to destroy the walls. That's the problem with having an angle of this of this magnitude. Yeah, I don't think we can terraform the angle. We it needs to be of a similar height. But we'll see. Do what we can do. Oh my gosh. Let's do this part first. That. That looks pretty decent, right? Fantastic. Alright, that looks better. That looks decidedly worse. <laughs> oh. I made I've made some bad choices. Okay, cool. Look at that. Yeah, it stays. That's perfect. Beautiful. But now I can't place the walls, so I might actually have to place the walls first. This is holding true. Yeah, we'll have to build the walls first. Sorry. I've got it all backwards. That will be interesting. We'll have to do all this so that we can keep the, the heights and everything. Yeah, you can see it blends, blends the slope into the walls and that's perfect. Perfect, yeah. So walls first, then you can build out those areas. Nice. We have a capacity for 10 more people. I think we can definitely feed them. And we are chopping and planting a lot of trees. This is great. This is a much better area. These trees will grow a lot faster. Hmm. We got a lot of sick people, though. I'm not a big fan of the fact that I was not able to get a road through some of this area. Um, I'm wondering if I could... Here's the problem. If I, if I do a uh, 12 by 24 here... I get a 19 fertility. If I go up one tile... I get a 20. Aha! I win. I can put my road right there. 
be a little it'll be like a little weird road but it'll make it easier for people to get out to their farms beautiful actually why can't I can't I just do this instead um if I come up we put a road back here and through here what with the fertility on this okay cares if it pokes out a little bit right 20 percent. yeah i can we're cheating we're gonna cheat this we're gonna have our cake and eat it too i probably could have booted this out actually too here the fertility factor is 20 if i would have done one tile out it would uh, be 15 wow Okay, let's stay in. This guy, he's gonna poke out. Beautiful. Two of one, and people are really unhappy. Entertainment, zero. Yeah, so we have to get festival pull up. We have massive crops coming in, so we have plenty of food. Um, like I said in the design, the festival pole is right around here. So. Yeah. so it is incredibly important to get this pole up. So let's first get the walls up. Definitely need a lot of wood. Just put a couple prioritizations on cutting. I think that will get us everything that we need right there. And we definitely need a pooper scooper. Alright, let's draw back on builders. This is rough. Alright. I'm gonna have to um, do everything manually for a second. No cobblers, no tanners. We gotta, we gotta get our happiness back up, or we're gonna have huge productivity issues. So, times three. We got a big old chunk of trees over here. We can cut down eventually, so that's great. There's plenty of trees over here to cut down, so that's wonderful too. There we go. Gotta get this up next. Do all the terraform in there. Cool. The festival pole goes right here. So once I get these walls up, we're in good shape. We need money though. We always need money. Well, oh, we have a bunch of pelts. I guess pelts are our economy right now. Shoes. They're good. Boards. I'm kind of on the, the fence about boards, right? No pun intended. I need boards for later projects, so I don't necessarily want to sell them. But. Sometimes you have to do what you gotta do. Sometimes five bucks is five bucks, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta go behind the gas station and earn that five dollars so you could build a premium entertainment system of, uh, I mean, just look at it. You get festival pole. You get to run around on tassels. So you see the tassels on it? People run around in circles, and it's supposed to be really fun. I've seen them at renaissance fairs, actually. And the people who are running around in circles are actually having a lot of fun. But to be fair, they are on a lot of drugs. Most likely. 
but that, that, I mean, it's still a lot of fun. I think most of them are drunk. Most of them are drunk. Yeah. Hammer, hammered would probably be a better definition. There we go. And I don't have any booze in this town, so... These people are just high on life. 40. Yeah, that's a pretty good meat collection there. Eventually I'm gonna get a tower and go back after that boar spawn, which is moved way over here. But you can move the hunter in that tower, just kinda keep up with the boar spawn. This is great. All right, yeah, I probably could have pulled off my farmers for a second there, but uh, I didn't. Okay. Definitely want to get some of the gates up. I think if I just do that little nub, it will be good. Oh, shit. person's gonna die yeah that person's gonna die that is the perils of terraforming they they're dying for the cause though you know what I mean what, what cause I don't I don't know Hmm. Feel like I did something silly here, but I'm trying to figure out what. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let me just flatten that one more time. Flatten this. Actually, we can just do this whole area, and that should remedy the situation. Oh, they died still. Let's try this. Try one nice little terraforming all the way up. There we go. I think the two tile actually doesn't work very well, as you can see. Um... Maybe four tiles is the way to go. I've always struggled with this part, to be honest. Kind of just keep doing it until it works. Dude, it it's still just like doing whatever it wants. I set I put it to off and it went back below us fertility. Eat that so much. Do not need fertility over there. Maybe I have to do the whole thing. Eek. That, that got weird over there. Okay, so this looks good. Cool. One more little terraforming for the for the cause. Once I get the gate up, I can start to. Well, I can get the gate. I can just do it now. And prioritize this. We need money. All right. I don't like to do this, but uh, I need the money. The 
two people in here to get the trade going faster. There we go. That should be enough money right here. I'm throwing this all in the town, by the way. Should be just enough money to build build our thing and have a little nest egg. Yeah, 150. Cool. If they get this terraformed, I can put that up. actually quite a bit of hunting here a surprising amount of hunting i um did not count on the amount of hunting there is all right cool they did it Couple more terraforms and we're good to go This will help out tremendously once I get the, the tassels up. Shit. Need, need to get the tassels. Come on, team. Alright. Do let's do small strips. Surprised I haven't been attacked yet. Uh, usually pretty frequent. Yeah, I feel like it's just... I feel like it's automatically going to do this. I might as well... Maybe if it does it again, like if it just automatically switches, I'm going to set it to... Uh, um, like go to the highest fertility. So that, but that kind of pisses me off. There's a road that way. Cool. So we were able to get our roads into the farm. Weird way. And actually, technically speaking, like I said, we can do whatever we want. The road. This. There we go. Interesting. Might as well just get it up. Have everything there. This. Cool. I'm just gonna leave that the way it is because it's working. That's working. This is definitely not working. <laughs> try this. This. Try that. Alright, perfect. Alright, it's winter. Let's do some micromanaging. Get a bunch of builders and just get everything done. I wonder if that's actually a glitch. I've been saying that for like years. <laughs> It doesn't look too steep to me. That's actually kind of scaring me. This is all jacked. I'll fix that once I get this down. So this is actually going to be a kind of a, a, a back and forth. Is because of the height disparity. It's It gets a little wonky. There we go. All right. Crap. I didn't mean to cancel the pole. I just want to cancel the terraforming. All 
Alright, cool. It's done. So this can be brought back to normal now. That can be brought back. Yeah, we'll, we'll be wrestling with this stuff a bit. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I think it actually works. Does it work? It works. I'm just gonna flatten this out here. And that should take care of a lot of it. We also need to do some touch ups. Just some moderate uh, weirdage going on here. I think I'll leave I think I'll leave everybody the way they are. Alright, let's autofill and pull back. Beautiful, beautiful day. Cool. Looks a little wonky, but it works. So far we've been, I mean, a lot of food is spoiling. You can see like most of the vegetables we grow aren't even being eaten. So even though we're not able to do 12 months worth of food, we're actually our food supply is actually pretty dang sufficient to the point where I'm actually going to build two more houses. Try to get some more people coming in. This is looking pretty good. I don't know if this works. Did I screw it up again? Does it really work? It looks so bad. Okay, it works. We're not gonna touch it for now. Until it bothers me. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. We really have some pretty low defenses right now. Uh, I'd feel a lot better with another tower. We got this tower and this tower, and they're each protecting the storage facility, which was my you know, a thing. I want to put another tower over here. Um, I might as well actually put the tower up. Higher up it is, the better. We'll see what happens. But if they want any real loot, they're going to have to come to this location, which is sandwiched between two very, very effective towers. And they come up to the town center, which they do in the later game because they want to burn it to the ground. They're going to be fighting a very formidable bow. Alright, cool. So they are going around. Oh, wow. You see that? Tower is lighting them up. He's just decimating them. Hunter, the mass amount of hunters I had in the north took out the other guys. Holy cow. Look at that height advantage, though, man. The thing just ripped him apart. That's why I was telling you. Like, one height advantage tower is more powerful than three to four towers. We have a lot of sick people, though, right now. And that's kind of concerning me. Because diseases tend to spread during attacks. Ooh, that whole area over there is... Okay. They got my gate. Okay. I gotta get people out of this house so they don't get diseased. Oh, look at that. Someone buying shoes at a really bad price. I'm gonna let it go. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the right opportunity. Hey, cool. We got the we got the pull up. Entertainment at forty three percent. That hurts. But at least we got people from being really sad to uh, only slightly sad. Oof. Eventually, the bean disease actually goes away. So we'll try our luck. Twelve out of sixteen were killed. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to restructure these wells as well. As well, huh? <laughs> Terrible. So that I, I need to maximize the amount of wells we have in this design. Not cutting it. 
Probably should have put another one over there. Keep getting sidetracked on the chickens. How the heck is this thing too steep? Man, they really nerfed terraforming. It just takes forever to get something flat. Six for a shoe, nothing for nothing. Okay. Alright, so we have the capacity for 100 people now. Definitely get this situated here. That way I can get the market in here. Eleven people, heck yeah. Nine builders. Oh, got broken somehow. I was doing this. I think I should do it by four. Yeah, this is why, like, when you get it working, it's kind of just best not to touch it. <laughs> really easy to mess up but it's hard too because it's like i want to make sure that these things are flat so they don't look like you know this looks awful for instance terrible I want it flat yeah like this whole thing right here totally not flat like a caved in capri sun I could actually probably fix this one just by doing this. They'll bring this down and bring this up. <laughs> right after I say don't touch it. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of worried about it breaking really easily because of how severe that slant is. This one's like perfect. This is like perfect, perfect. On. Let's see if I'm right or wrong here. I'm, I'm like right-ish. <laughs> like kind of right. I just moved it down one. So I guess if you just kept doing that, you would just keep moving it down one. That actually might be the way to do it. Okay. Alright. These get all fixed up though. We'll be in good shape. This one looks like it's good because it has a bit of give. Boom. Okay, yeah, that's perfect right there. Right. Okay. Once that wall's up, we can get the next uh, market going. Just keeps getting a little. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's nice right there. Problem I'm having now is I keep screwing this up. I'm trying to get this wall ready. Cool. A bunch of coal right there. That's kind of a sad, sad thing to put over. Could actually potentially put a coal mine up here. Alright, cool. So that's good. This is whatever. I mean, like I said, if I just keep doing this, it will go down one bump. So maybe that actually will fix it. And like right here, we can get this last wall piece in. Perfect. Cool. The road's good. Alright, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave this alone for now. We'll leave everything alone. You can see there's a bit of a divot here. Kind of bothering me. Terraforming there. Still got the divot here. Still got the divot here too. Yeah, it's going down one at a time. I actually kind of like that because we can, we can definitely fix it if we keep going. Dang, this thing's got a huge divot. All right, that should fix everything. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. If you just do two tiles at a time, it just moves the bump down. That's that's actually probably the way to do this stuff. Is That's really easy. Alright. 
need to fill a couple of holes and good. All right, so it's going to be this area. Let me look at my design. The market is right below the 5x5 five five park. Let me actually move this, like, just anywhere. So we can get the 5x5 five five park. This 5x5 five five park is a massive placeholder. Alright, let's fire the farmers. Boot up the builders. Let's get a bunch of stuff built. Someone died. We got a bunch of people. I think we have a bunch of kids. Yeah, 29 kids. Yeah. Right here is where a 5x5 five five park is. Obstructed by a dang well. Okay. Um, do the well over here. And the market's like right over here, so get this all flat. All right, I'm going to keep the builders up high. To get this terraforming done. We need to get this market here so that we can get the monies. This is kind of getting crazy. Um, just how shit is not terraforming. I think I just need to stop making it big and just make it the exact size of what I want it to be. Large park. The large park in the market goes right here. Right in this spot. We're getting close. Yeah, and if I get if I can get my second chicken coop up, I'm gonna be really happy. Um, here's the deal, though. I gotta move this shit. 142 gold. It's so expensive to move this stuff. I think actually what I'm gonna end up doing is growing the hay here, switching this out to uh, grow uh, beans. One guy. I don't know. The lost cause for sure. It will raise the fertility of this area though, but I need to destroy all that stuff and get this out proper here in a bit. Alright, cool. This guy's buying shoes at 8, so there's my 240. Need to buy more clubs for my hunters. You want to make sure your hunters have clubs so they can take out bears and stuff quickly. Nice. Market right here. Perfect. I'll get a bunch of money from that. Okay, and then what do we need to upgrade this market? We need 50 bricks. Funny thing is, whenever you upgrade your market, that's when the raiders come in and destroy it. And we just made a bunch of money right there. Uh, how much is 50 bricks? Can I do it? The thing is, is that by doing this, I'll get... Um, Plus one gold per house, which really does add up in a lot of ways. And it has a tower protecting it. And the tower is also protecting the other marketplace. What the fuck just happened? Did I have another building that needed bricks? It's like lost. All those bricks. 40 bricks. So weird. Okay, and they're back again. Disappearing brick trick was not funny. Look at that. Yeah, it'll increase the range. I'll get those houses. I'll even get some of these houses over here. 
That was a really good, really good uh, day for us right there. I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. We'll do three. We'll do threes. We'll just do this whole thing. A bajillion more times until it's perfectly flat. I think it's the fencing. It's the fencing. Fencing is holding the slope. Okay. Got to destroy the fencing. In order to get this slope up. Oh my god, I've been like sitting here like a moron. I bet you like just one of them would have done it. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with slopes and stuff. So, yeah, I, I couldn't change the slope of this because the, fen the fencing here was. Yeah, look at that. See, now it's flat. Man, this is gonna be an interesting let's play. We'll potentially have to destroy quite a bit of stuff. Uh, to make room. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something to be aware of, you know what I mean? Hunters out here because there's three hunters out here. Because, yeah, and we're gonna do another smoker all the way over here. Um, yeah, there's some inefficiencies in this design for sure. Get the raw meat out of storage. All right, plus 31. There's a couple things we need to do with that. One is get the healer's head up. Because we're we're losing too many of our good folk. Do the death. And in the design, you can put your healer's hut anywhere. And this, I have it. Um. Kind of move around depending on what I want. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to change the slope too much here without destroying the fencing. See what happens. But this is kind of where I'm thinking we'll put it for now, because it will give a massive uh, desirability bonus. This should actually move. I don't know. The, it's, the fences are the one. If you use fences, they hold it. Use the walls, they don't. It seems to be the fences only. I think we'll be okay here. Yeah, you can see that the terrain is definitely moving. Alright, so we'll build this dude right there. Thankfully, we have 20, exactly 20 to play. And... Okay, yeah, that's disabled. Perfect. What do I want to do here? Um... Okay. So, housing here, housing here. I'm expanding over here. Industry over here. What do I have? actually two gates here. I don't know. What have I done? I think I put the road in the wrong spot. There should be a tower. Two, three, four. Yeah. The road on the design actually goes down a different ways. <laughs> We're just going to have to deal with it. 
That'd be three, that'd be three, and then you can see here two. Goes off. Goes off the rails. The road should be right here. This looks so wonky. It's but there's there's literally no way I can redo can redo the uh area without uh, significant insanity. This is why this is why it's good to test your roads first. Three, 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 three. Cool. Um, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. Just gonna look a little weird. Actually, we can remedy this if I go this way. I can leave the road bonkified right here. Just change the hub. Yeah, I, I did that intentionally. It's the it's got character now. Okay, cool. This will be the easiest way to recover from my mistake. Can't believe I did that. That doesn't look as bad. Doesn't look as good either, but doesn't look as bad. There we go. Cool. Problem solved. Nice, we have a lot of workers. Yeah, this looks great. We'll fix everything else later. You can barely tell that it looks... <laughs> you can barely tell! Just, you know, there for that. Um, actually, no, this this little Wonka fight won't work. This is the way the towers are designed. So, it's this will be fine. We're just going to put it straight to the road. We don't need to do this weird thing that I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was not thinking that through. It was a really easy fix there. Now everything's straight. It's just a little bit off. That's that's not that big of a deal. This, however, will have to change up. Um, there'll be two two on this side, one on this side. Okay. This. All right. So we have four gold. That's fine. I'm just gonna build another house to get the gold that I need. And the chickens are definitely outstaying their welcome. I'm gonna move him over chicken over here. He'll use this area for the time being. Cool. 85% fodder, 90%. Cool. So we'll get a massive fodder bonus. Our chicken coop is back up. I can um, send some chickens over. Two herbs. I have no monies. I have monies in the town. I need to buy herbs. Houses can't upgrade without herbs, so. Do it here for now. We're getting attacked. We're gonna split, split the coops. So this guy should be getting some good hay. Ooh, wow, 421. 
That's enough for like both of these guys for several several years, so that's good. They're coming. Did they decide not to come? Twenty one. Oh shit, they got a battering ram. That's not good. Alright. Well they're coming. Lucky uh, the raiders didn't come, so I can beat on this thing pretty hard with these guys. It was a fortunate turn of events, I'm not going to lie. Times two. I think they're going to go straight for the trade post, so... Oh, they didn't. But yeah, they're going to get hit really hard. Plus, yeah, 28 damage per hit. They're not going to get anywhere near my stuff. And once this tower gets up, it's going to be GG. Towers are just wrecking. Right, what? Someone's gonna die. Oh shit, do not fight. Do not fight. <laughs> You're gonna run through these gates. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of hunters too. This is kind of funny. Yeah, we need to get this tower up to protect the uh, the walls here. We lost, dude. Come on. Boom. Trick. Got him. Alright, that was it. Shit, we just got 11 people sick. See, see? They were in there, one person was sick, they contaminated every single person in there. I don't know if that's a glitch or an intended feature, but it's happened to me multiple times. Um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of that. And I think the healer, healer is up. Yeah, we got a bunch of sick people in there. So we definitely wanted to get the healer up ASAP. A massive disease right now. I got away with not having a healer for far longer than I normally... I usually get the healer up ASAP. That's one of the things, the reasons why you have to get your market upgraded to tier two, so you can actually get the money to have both defenses and that. Um, we got a big old thing of food coming in. Uh, so uh, we'll be okay, we'll make it. But we're hurting real bad right now. All right, cool. The uh, disease has come down. We were able to survive that. Need one more house over here. Uh, I'll have to terraform that. Okay, well that's gonna be it for this let's play. Uh, I'm going to get that house up so that we can get the plus one gold so that we can afford this tower. We have, um, I'm sh you know what, I could just cut down these trees right now. And we have all these trees to cut down too. Jeez, all those trees too. So plenty of wood, we just need the workers for it. Crap, I don't have my farmers out. <laughs> this is why I don't like the micromanage, I got so, I got so sidetracked. Oops, we'll still be okay though. Is, uh, we have um, if you look at the food supply, almost all of my vegetables are being thrown out. So um, people just have been eating the meat. Field six. Planted zero. Planted zero. Planted zero. Perfect. If I were smart, I would have quickly done something like this. They can still plant them. They still plant and potentially yield those peas. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna apply this to the big boy. 
Slowly we're getting this filled up. We gotta get the rest of the crops up. But let's see if we can get a yield. Cool. We're getting a yield harvested 121. Clutch. That will get us through. I sorry, I screwed up there big time. That's good. That's whatever the hell it is. And um We'll be done in a second. There we go. That's fixed ish. I think if you do it like that, we'll fix it. All right, we were able to harvest almost all those. We were able to harvest. Oh, we didn't get anything from that. We didn't plant in time, but we we did get like a thousand food. I gotta I gotta come back from this before I lock. That was really dumb. 899. That's not bad. That's one of the reasons why I hate taking these away. I always get distracted by something. We got enough food, though. And we did just, like, severely, severely overpopulate our farm. Our hunters. 242. And they have a great central location here. A temp shelter. A lot of food. And over here, we got the two smokers. I think what we actually need to do is build a meat a meat storage right here so the hunters are bringing their meat back here Damn we got another wolf These guys are doing okay. Yeah, if we have a nice little meat storage right here. It'll make things easy. Actually, a little surprised. Um, we have plenty of hunters. Should literally be able to feed our population just on the hunters alone. Alright, so just the meats. Sword here. Give them a fast track. Transferring of goods is killing them, yeah. Could put them out here, though. But the problem with that is then everyone else has to lug it back. It's kind of good to do central points. Nice red pines are doing really well. Should also be getting a lot of pelts. Um, Knock on wood, nobody's starved to death quite yet. Buckwheat, beans, peas, disease. This, the beans growing in the beginning of the year. I'm gonna have to wait on these because of the disease. That should give us enough food to make it to the second one. Yeah, so stupid of me. So dumb. Sometimes I make mistakes, man. I have to recover from my stupidity. Okay, that's pretty decent. If I can get up it, and I cannot. That should do it. Should do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cool. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Oh, I wonder how many times I've said that today. All right, cool. We got three months worth of food. All right, we're back on track. We are back on track. I'm gonna sell these shoes and I'm gonna sell these boards. I want money. Buy cheap fish. I don't need it though. Um, I do want to buy some more iron so that I can upgrade some of these wells. 
both the desirability bonus and the fact that they produce more water. Okay, and then this, that well there, and then we'll just start moving wells over so we can get one more well in there, I think. Alright, well we came back from the brink of death, as if I was being a very stupid person. Um, we should definitely up hide production to max. Our trade good. And I think we're in a good spot. We have the capacity to house a lot of people. We have plus four gold and we have... Um, nice. So you see this one? It has the ability to shoot and protect this gate. So it's going to be very defensive in here now. Plus 15, plus 16. Very good. Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching.